The belly button is the window to the soul. Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Faye. I'm an illustrator. I'm an animator. And today we're going to do something really stupid. So my idea for today's video uh, came from watching this girl scroll through Fashion Nova, which is a website I've never been to. I never really buy that much clothing online. I've also heard that Fashion Nova is really bad just ethically um, in that fast fashion kind of way. So uh, already not good vibes. Bro, you know when you're buying jeans for $12 you that somebody's dying. You think everybody can afford to buy $70 jeans? They're not dying. You don't know this. Bro, you haven't been it, in their factories. I've been in their factories in downtown LA, actually. Fashion Nova is not made in downtown LA. From the video that I saw, it has some whack dresses, like really fucking weird dresses. Uh, some examples. So today I thought I would scroll through, find some of the worst unsavable dresses um, and try to turn them into cool outfits for characters. So let's see if that's even possible. Okay, so before I choose the ones that I'm gonna do, I thought it would just be funny to show you some of the worst that I found because I scrolled literally for almost two hours and just saved every single one where I was like, I can't imagine a human woman wearing this dress. So we have a lot of them. I'll just show you the highlights. First category of dresses I found is weird shape. Like so weird, it's not the shape of a human. Uh, it's as if aliens designed a human dress. So these are the ones I found that looked like that. There's this one that has like a butt crack right down the middle <laughs> and it's like sparkly all around the butt crack. Um, so that one was especially horrible. Hey, this is Faye from Many Days Later. <laughs> Just uh, stopping in to tell you, uh, if you like my channel and my work, definitely subscribe, comment. Uh, it helps a ton because it's really hard to grow a tiny art channel. So thank you. The so next category is just a category I'll call risky. Pretty much they have a whole category of dresses where the entire dress is clear uh, and you can see your underwear underneath, but not in like a creative way or a cool way, just in like an unexpected way, I guess. Uh, this one I thought was kind of cool at first because I thought there were like koi fish on it. Um, but no, they're just weird orange squiggles. So that's kind of ugly. This one I actually have no words for. Like if I saw someone wearing this, I would just assume that like it's a cultural thing or something that I just didn't understand because I looked at this for so long trying to understand it. She looks like a circus performer. Okay, I guess the one place that I would accept seeing this dress is at a circus. <laughs> because I mean, the shape of the dress isn't even horrible. Like imagine if the sheer part was all red, like it's not the worst dress in the world. It's very like dance competition. I discovered a category of dress that is just the belly button is the window to the soul, is what I'll call it, uh, which is just a dress that is perfectly normal except for a window for the belly button. I mean, shout out to the woman whose like best body feature is their belly button. I don't know what that says about you, but I support you either way. Um, but yeah, if you are looking to show off nothing but your belly button, boy, do I have a dress for you. This one. <laughs> Why? 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 I'll just call this category straps. Why? Because <laughs> there are so many straps. And these are not even straps, they're like shoelaces. That's like really popular right now. Like everyone just wants to look like a sexy shoe, I guess. I have a category of just like, I'll just call it huh. Uh, and that's where I'll put the weird cherub dress that I found. Do you ever just want to have weird white children on your dress? with nothing else, no context, then this is the dress for you. Couldn't decide if you wanted to wear a hoodie or a dress to this function, so you decided to wear a hoodie dress, this dress is for you. You want people to know that you like money? This dress is for you. <laughs> Do you hate being human and want to be just the embodiment of a sunset? This dress is for you. I actually kind of like this one, no lie. It's like sexy Miss Frizzle. Also, cowboy is really in right now, so just putting that one out there. I don't really like this one because it's kind of cowboy loincloth vibes. This one is like a normal dress, but then the belt accessory is so weird, I like literally don't understand. Like, are these pockets? What's in there? Snacks? Then the rest are just like what I would say, like, Bratz dolls. You can just look like a Bratz doll, and honestly, like, isn't that the epitome of fashion right now? Uh, 
yeah. I can't even be mad at dresses like this. Like, it's not, like, there's definitely a person with a body that would make this look good. So if this was your first time seeing Fashion Nova dresses, uh, it was also my first time, and boy was it weird. <laughs> uh, but from the ashes, a phoenix will rise, and that means that I'm going to choose three of these dresses to try and redraw, um, and give them some character, make them cool, maybe... A lot of them give me, like, pirate or fairy vibes, so maybe we'll draw some pirates and fairies today, we'll see. Okay, so I think the three that I'm gonna choose are probably... Hey, this is No Makeup Fae from, like, many days later. Um, I had a really intense week, and I'm gonna be honest, I got a little ambitious with the premise of this video. I was still able to do this one. I actually really like the end result, so let's do this. Every single day I've been like, okay, time to film the end of this video, and things keep popping up. A lot of homework, worked on my thesis film a lot, um, hung out with my boyfriend, we went to the 3D print lab, so that was kind of cool. Okay, you caught up. Let's go. So I'm really happy with how this illustration turned out. Um, you can kind of see in the sketching phase, I'm like really struggling to figure out what the proportions of the woman are gonna be. Um, just because like in the actual picture, she has like very hourglass proportions, but her head looks strangely small. I don't know if that's just me. Uh, so I was like, oh, I'll make the head on the character I draw really, really small. So it'll be kind of funny. Um, I gave her sunglasses just because I thought that would be dope. I didn't really have like a character in mind for this person. Um, I don't know, I drew this kind of like water halo thing around her that I think turned out really cool. Uh, but yeah, I really didn't like give her a backstory or anything. So that is totally open to interpretation. Maybe she's some kind of superhero. Um, but yeah, so I gave her a tiny head and then really big hands and really big feet. In the lining stage, uh, I decided to keep the fish on a different layer because I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to like play with the transparency of that. Uh, because what was so stupid about the original one is that you can like see the black underwear through the dress, which I think is like a concept that was not fully executed uh, in this outfit. I decided to make it look a little bit more like a bathing suit, like, you know, maybe she's a superhero. Maybe she's just going to the beach and she's just really fancy, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I gave it like trimming so it looks a bit more like a swimsuit. Um, and then I colored her in with this brush I've never used before. Uh, but it looked much more watercolory and patchy, which I think was cool. Um, I don't know, I feel like my illustrations are like pretty flat, so I've been trying to experiment a little bit more with texture. Um, oh, like here, I gave her very like abstract swirls, which is actually like from the original dress. Um, just a little more freeform. And then I made the fish orange. I made them multiple different kinds of orange. Um, but yeah, it's fulfilling my fantasy because when I first saw this dress for like 0.2 seconds, I thought they were fish and I was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, and then I was disappointed when they were just weird swirls. So in this version, they are definitely fish. I gave her a third fish eye. So I kept, you can probably tell, but I kept all the dress and the fish layer uh, separate because I played with the transparencies a little bit more um, and I think I ended up putting them on like hard light mode or something just so they could be blue um, but also like I wanted to experiment with what color her skin would look like underneath it looks a bit green I guess um, and something that I forgot which is um, when you change the blending mode of a color um, the color then gets defined by the color that is underneath it so when I changed the background from orange to blue, I had to shift things around a little bit, but I think it turned out way cooler because of that. So, yeah. Overall, I freaking love how this illustration came out. Um, and I actually, I need to do more like character design stuff for my portfolio, so I'm probably gonna explore drawing her a little bit more, maybe figure out how her face moves give her some expressions. Anyways, uh, but yeah, sorry I wasn't able to complete more for this video. I think I still made one cool illustration because of it. Uh, she's a pretty cool lady. I wish I was friends with her. 
<laughs> thank you for the likes, thank you for the views, thank you for everything. Um, subscribe, comment, uh, follow my TikTok, my Instagram if you want to see more art. So thank you and I will see you next week. <laughs>